so first yeah. uh, as we have discussed about optimizations it is a uh, scheduled job you can uh, build some assign you can based on some territories you can execute or execute or optimization job from the dispatcher console itself or the app from the free service settings also so you can execute the optimization job so daily basis means after the business hours we will uh, schedule your job and that job will be executed based on the assigned territory and uh, and it is actually uh, it uh, means um, actually find out the uh, actually find out the optimum resource service resource and assign that service resource to the service appointment properly so this is the daily basis means you uh, you yeah, after the business hours your optimization job will uh, run so now in the optimizations how to handle in the changes that means how to optimize your schedule during the day okay so that is uh, actually uh, field service lightning provided a feature out of box feature which is called uh, in the optimizations like suppose my organizations uses the global optimizations every night and each so each morning everything is in place for a speedy and productive day so all the service team has to do a uh, stick with the schedule so they have to actually they will get everything in place in the morning itself because global optimizations uh, i have scheduled that global optimizations in every night but then the they, but then the day unfolds like uh, field technicians or mobile workers they are, uh, uh, suppose they go, they get sick so or uh, uh, traffic is there heavy traffic causes the delays for the field service technicians or mobile workers then customer uh, suppose customer rescheduled the appointments then what will be the result so appointments get added removed or moved around so and then the day schedule is not so um, optimal anymore so now then you can optimize for every occasions you can optimize uh, the scenario which i have just explained you can optimize your service appointment so few of the ways field service lightning provides you to to reoptimize a schedule uh, gone away so this is the optimizations which is called in the optimizations so in the optimizations suppose i am giving like the example i have given you in the optimizations which is actually optimize our schedule for one or more territories uh on the day of service suppose suppose example uh, uh, actually uh, for field service one field service technician traffic is worse than usual uh, in, uh, in in some territory and all their appointments are running late so many appointments in that territory overlap so then what you need to use we need to use the india optimization so first you need to go to here so how to set up the india optimization so one thing is there which is called uh, which is actually uh, like uh, uh, means if i have already shown you if you will go to the field service and from field service itself you are able to optimize one one specific service appointment so that is also a part of uh, uh, reoptimize your service appointment that is fine but uh, um, but you can do you can fix your schedule with india optimizations from the guided setup also okay so like uh, like suppose los angeles this territory is having a bad day suppose suppose uh, before they were uh, means uh, traffic is there and field service technicians they will not able to reach their destinations in a proper time so all the mobile workers or field, te field technicians in this territory are running late so now in india optimizations can easily fix this so how to do that first you need to go to the Mm, field service uh, settings from the dispatcher uh, from the guided setup you need to set it up means i am able to see the optimize if i'm just refresh this page i am able to see the optimize flag for a specific service appointment so for that you need to uh, uh, let it come you need to uh, enable optimizations options from the guided setup so if i'll go here i'm able to see the optimized job so suppose i'm just uh, i'm just all the service appointment are scheduled so if i'll just today's date i'm selecting so few service appointments are there which is scheduled but i would like to optimize that service appointment so i can easily get it done from here so for that what you need to do you need to first go to field service admin let me go to the field service admin 
Yeah, I need to go to the field service settings and from the field service settings, I need to go to the scheduling policies. First, I need to go to the guided setup. Yeah. It's coming. Okay, so this is the guided setup. So here, I need to go to the scheduling policies. And in the scheduling policies, in the scheduling policies, uh, so what you need to do, suppose I'm choosing customer first scheduling policies. I would like to optimize for that service appointment using the customer first uh, scheduling policies from the dispatcher console. So um, if I click on that customer first, so here I'm just scrolling down. So scroll in the optimizations. This is the in the optimizations. You need to toggle it up. So if you are clicking on the India optimizations, so any service appointment which is been created using the customer first policy that can be easily optimized using the India optimizations options. Okay, so if you will go to the dispatcher console, you will be able to see that uh, optimize options for that territory and uh, using that scheduling policy, you can able to optimize that. So this is means if you need to go to the field service then and suppose Yeah, so if I'll just open this one. Yeah, so suppose I, I, I'm choosing optimize. I'm choosing optimize. So suppose service territory, I'm choosing Los Angeles demo. Okay, so now service appointment includes suppose all and scheduling policy suppose customer first. So look at this. The selected scheduling policy uses in this optimizations a rapid scheduling feature. So this is coming in this optimize uh, uh, optimize uh, mm, uh, pop up because I have already I have already toggled up that optimize uh, in the optimizations uh, settings in the mm, field service settings uh, options. So if I'll optimize this, so automatically the service appointments will optimize and get the optimum resource, and all the service resource uh, will be uh, means that means that that schedule all the service resource who are sick. Or who are not able to go to their destinations due to, due to traffic or due to any kind of emergency situations, all the schedule schedule all of those service appointments is re-optimizes. So appointments should be shifted as needed. Needed appointments will be shifted as needed until everything is is on back on track. Okay, so like this is the optimized feature in the optimization feature. So one thing I would like to uh, tell uh, uh, here means this is the India optimizations feature we have. Another thing we need to know, like uh, which actually um, re-optimize the schedule, uh, like in the, means it is similar to the India optimization, which, which is called RSO. RSO means uh, resource schedule optimizations. Let me open the notepad here. RSO means, okay, so let me open it. So first option is in the optimizations we, which we have just talked about in the optimization. Second, op second option is RSO. RSO means uh, a resource schedule optimization. Yeah, so resource schedule optimizations, it is optimizes one mobile worker's day basically. So like example is suppose a mobile worker's first job run late, another one is cancelled and a new high priority job is arrived. Then, then you need to use that resource uh, schedule optimizations. Means um, you have to, means how to use that? You have to select the mobile worker on the GAN and choose resource schedule optimizations. So uh, like for example, I'm giving you resource schedule optimizations move the second job later to the account for the late running job. Since the worker has a gap in the schedule, it assigns them in a high priority job. So how to do that? So suppose, I suppose if I'll go to here, if I'll go to here, uh, suppose let me, um, okay, uh, so uh, let me go to 14. Okay, let me create a service appointment here. First, I'll create a fresh service appointment. Suppose I'm creating a work order and I'll create a fresh service appointment. So let me open for suppose search work type is solar maintenance, territory is demo, uh, new, uh, priority is suppose uh, medium, 
in accounting trivials reality and and this is fine subject case everything is fine so i'm saving that so my work order will be generated let me huh okay so uh, our, our this work order is generated and service appointment is also generated so if i'll open that service appointment uh look at this so here earliest start permit is 16 due date is 19. so i'll create another service appointment let me create another service appointment if i'll go to the parent record okay okay so what i'll do uh let me go to the related i'll create a new service appointment for this work order suppose 19 and uh, everything is putting as it is so i'm just saving it so i have created two service appointments let me create another one three service appointments so this one new so i'll do um So let me use the scheduling policy also. Suppose dream house first. No, sorry. Let me use customer first. Save it. And go to the customer first. Save it. Let me check the first one also and go to the related. What is the shielding policy? Let me use the shielding policy customer first. Okay, so if I'll go to the field service, Uh, just a second, let me check. Uh, just a second, Los Angeles demo. Uh, why the service appointment is not coming, which I have just created right now? Just a second. Uh, let me check it. Okay. Uh, status is dispatch schedule. Let me. Okay, so look at this. This is the new status. Mm -hmm. And uh, this service appointment is not yet scheduled. So we are discussing that how to fix the schedule for a mobile worker. So if I'll just schedule that service appointment, suppose Simon Click, suppose Simon Simon Click, I'm just scheduling that service appointment. Okay. And uh, just a second, let me, uh, yeah. So it is scheduled now. Okay. Rule violation is not there. Let me now go to the next uh, service appointment. Okay. Next service appointment, which I have created. So if I'll go to here, if I'll go to here, so suppose next one is 8 to 8. If I'll go to here, it is 80828. Let me search it. Yeah. So this one. It's coming. Search all records. Yeah. 
So now I'm assigning this service appointment also, okay, here. So now, same day, I'm assigning the service appointment to it. So it is giving some rule violations. Uh, okay, so now what I do, let me put the third one. I'll check the rule violation last. Let me first search that service appointment and assign it. So let me search all records. Okay, so I'm just assigning the service appointment this year. So what is happening? Look at this. Its utilization is getting increased at 33% its utilization. Now, what is that? Resource schedule optimizations. So uh, suppose if I will just hover over to this mobile workers or field technicians name uh, in this Gantt. So look at this three dots are there. Okay. So what it will do resource schedule optimizations as I, I have already told you, what is this uh, usage? Now, it is basically uh, optimize one mobile workers or field technicians day. Like suppose a field technicians first job run late, then another one canceled and the new high priority job is arrived. So then what will happen? So I can select being a field service admin, I can select a mobile worker or field technician on the Gantt and choose the resource schedule optimization. So like resource schedule optimizations or RSO, then what it will, how it will help me? It moves the second job later to the account for the late running job. Since the worker has a gap on their schedule, it assigns them in a high priority job like this. So if you we'll click on these three dots, okay, so uh, right, look at this this options resource schedule optimizations so if you'll just click on this resource schedule optimizations you'll able to see optimize the schedule from simon click november 16 to november 17 one optimized unscheduled appointments i will not uncheck uh, i'll not check that because this is not my requirement i will not optimize only unscheduled appointments i have already scheduled that scheduling policy is customer first consider only those appointments as candidates so here it is deleted automatically selected by default. So you need to choose is fill in candidate. Uh, look at this is fill in candidate. This option is you need to choose so that it will actually help you to choose the high priority job is the first job is running later or second job is cancelled. So it will consider only these appointments as candidate is fill in candidate. Okay, so keep this appointment schedule. Here it is by default deleted selected. I will select it as pinned. Pinned actually help you that suppose it's favorites kind of thing. Suppose you have just bookmark some web website's name in your uh, web, in your browser, right? So service appointment Gantt chart is also the same thing. If you if Gantt chart, if you would like to make a favorite service appointment you, or bookmark it, so pinned will help you. So each service appointment, each service appointment record, you will be able to see is pinned uh, field. Okay, so if you will just make this service appointment is pinned as true, that service appointment will be pinned in your dispatcher console or Gantt. Okay, so that's why I'm keep this service appointment as scheduled. It will be uh, pinned. Only scheduled appointments assigned to Simon Cliffs. That's okay. Okay, so I if because I have only one service resource, I don't have don't have multiple service resources. If I have multiple service resources, four, five, six, up to ten service resources in the service territory. Uh, suppose loss and interest so i would i would uh, i would uh, i will uh, uncheck this service appointment so that it will optimize it will find out best service resource uh, suppose it is in simon cliff simon cliff, cliff one service appointment he is taking long time to complete some emergencies happening and it is long time to complete uh, you, uh, means uh, with, uh, means as compared to the usual um, schedule and time so then what will happen if resource schedule optimizations, I'll, cho I'll be choosing these options. What it will do, it will schedule the appointments in a different service resource who is actually not occupied at that specific time. Uh, if this is a high priority job, field service engine automatically find out the service resource to optimize that job and to, re to reassign that service appointment to other than Simon Cliff. So I have one service resource, that's why I have checked this option. So now I'll click that optimize options. So if I click that optimize options. So that schedule optimizer, that means field service engine schedule optimizer in the back end starts looking for the perfect job to fill up the empty time slot. Okay. It looks for a job that uh, that is that that uh, Simon Cliff or any other service appointment, if it is there, it is qualified for. Okay. It is qualified for that can be scheduled during that time. And that best meets with your business priorities. Okay. 
So if I'll just uh, opening this, look at this. This was schedule optimizations is happening here. So I have this one service appointment, one service resource, and three service appointments I have created in my day work. So it is actually find out that resource schedule optimizations. If you go to go to that, look at this. It is in in progress status. If you go here, it is completed. Look at it is actually filling the gap. Look at this. So previously, the earlier start permitted for 8029 and earlier start permitted for 8028. That gap gap was big. And look at this. If I if I click on the resource schedule optimization, 80829, uh, it was previously having the rule violations. Okay. So what it it uh, field, uh, field service optimizer done? The field service optimizers actually taken care of that rule violations for that service appointment. Okay. And fix actually fix that gap for these two service appointments so can he can prioritize his job because um, uh, based on his business priorities he can start uh, his job okay one question on on that one as well so those two appointments at 12 yeah. and 1 um yeah. if there was travel time required would it also be taken that into account too because obviously that there's a back-to-back -back now presumably because of the same location yes okay so if there were travel time, how would that appear on the Gantt store? Would it show like a line to indicate the travel time? Or I was wondering how that appears on the Gantt. Yeah, so it, it will be here. Means the travel time is like, it is the travel time, which is actually average travel time per service appointment. So if you'll just open this service appointment, you'll be able to see, like uh, if I just yeah, open this service appointment and just go to the record. And another thing you can do from here also, if you just hover this service appointment, earlier start permitted date, due date is there and it is in the schedule condition. So start date and finish, it is, you are already able to see it's 12 p.m. started and 1 p.m. ended. So travel time is basically, uh, means it is it is actually reflecting here that one hour basically a schedule for this job to complete. But the travel time for average, it will be able to, it is available here. Here only. You can able to see the average travel time per service appointment here only. So I meet myself there. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So that there's actually no travel time at the moment to sell on these appointments. So I assume there's no geolocation occurring yes. on these yes. right now. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. So is it clear now what is the, the resource shuffle optimization, service optimizations and what is the in-day optimizations, how that is that is helping the field service scheduler to get the service appointment optimized? Resource schedule optimized is a very good feature. Uh, here, the service appointment, it was rule violations were there. Okay, so it is automatically taken care of by the field service optimizer. Look at this. After optimizes, it is successfully completed. It is actually taken care of the rule mm -hmm. violations. So in day, so in day scheduling would also do that as well, wouldn't it? So it would also take care of all violations as well as the resource scheduling optimization. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Um, yeah, correct. I guess in, just in terms of simplifying it for my sort of retention, the in day scheduling optimization that occurs across all uh, service resources within a given territory versus the resource scheduling optimization which is purely against a single service resource right so it's just it's working it's doing the same logic and same calculations behind the scenes just at a different level one's going across multiple resources this one's going across one resource right yeah yeah but uh, no uh, the last sentence i would uh, i would like to say suppose if i'll just click on that uh, uh resource schedule optimizations okay so only schedule appointments assigned to simon cliff so look at this if this option selected only appointment that has already assigned uh, to the resource that can be scheduled or rescheduled i have in my development talk i have one uh, i have created one service resources and make this service resource available for los angeles territory but you can make it unchecked also because if you'll make this unchecked so it is not only considered the simon cliff consider only the simon cliff service resource and his service appointment it will consider the entire Los Angeles territory. Uh, means, uh, for this Los Angeles territory, how suppose four service resources assigned to Los Angeles territory. So the service resource, field service optimizer will taken care of by 
the uh, service appointment which was assigned all the service appointment assigned to the four service resources so everything that will be taken care of okay that's fine thank you that makes sense that makes sense so depend on depend depend on this this check box you are selecting or not because it is clearly said if this option is selected only appointments that are already assigned to this resource that can be scheduled or unscheduled if you'll uncheck this it will not look at this this is if you'll uncheck this this is actually uh, hmm. means grayed out that means it will consider all those service resources under that service territory so it is actually reshuffling yeah. or reassigned all those service appointments okay okay yeah, that makes sense thank you oh. One other question I will ask: If we close out this mode, if you go to that ellipse again next to Simon Cliff, where we were seeing that option for the resource scheduling optimization, yeah, yeah. So, what's the difference between that one and say fix overlaps and things like that as well? So, does that also is that a more limited function where it says fixed overlaps? And I don't really see what the other one was again. Um, it's fixed uh, can overlaps. You come again? Um, uh, can you please come again? Your question is not. If again. you go back one step, sorry. Um, so, if you close this window. Okay, I'm closing this window. And then click on the ellipse again to open up that drop down. Okay. Yes. There's the there's the RSO we're ah. talking about, but there's also fix yeah. overlaps and fill in schedule. Yeah. Are these more limited functions then? And that the resource schedule optimization is more powerful in terms of actually reschedules, whereas this one just fixes yes. smaller yes. issues. Yes, yes, you're right. But fix overlaps has a beauty, like if a service appointment overlaps with another appointments or resource absences then you have to use that fix over this fix overlap basically this feature is harmoniously rescheduled appointments so that's means resource schedule optimizations resource schedule optimizations it's actually not considering the absences now fix overlaps this is this this functionality is taken care of the resource absences also like it is actually Uh, if a service appointment overlaps with the other appointments or absences, so you can use this fix overlaps feature to harmoniously reschedule the appointments. So absence is actually uh, very uh, ab absence is actually related to this fix overlap uh, functionality. Resource schedule optimizations is not taking care of the resource absences. Means till this Salesforce release. they haven't uh, been published this feature for resource schedule optimization so it is only absences is only taken care of by the fix overlaps right okay so i'm guessing in that case if we had an absence between uh, the 12 and 1 o'clock for example i'm assuming what that would mean is if you press fix overlaps it would then mm -hmm. space it out so that the second appointment would be further back yes. to yeah okay okay and the fill in schedule i'm guessing that just means bunch of things together in a sort of clustering format one and only third what says fill in schedule yeah fill in schedule so what is fill in schedule so uh, fill in schedule is basically uh, it is also uh, it is also helping you also fill service scheduler to fill their schedule gaps that means if you have a requirement like you need to fill the gaps in the service resource schedule then you have to use the fill in schedule feature so this feature is basically creates the list of appointments for a mobile worker and finds the optimal schedules kind of thing so basically it is it is it is actually filling the gaps in a service resource schedule so it is more to, similar to that resource schedule optimization optimize optimizations there is no big difference between that but what it will do it is actually creates the list of service appointment in the back end for a mobile worker suppose if i'm just choosing simon cliff i have simon cliff only so uh, what it will do it will actually find out that okay it is any gap is actually happened uh, any gap is between 12 pm to 1 uh, 12 pm to 1 pm for simon cliff so suppose i have i have another service resource so it is actually find out that okay for that service resource if he is busy for that particular time so if that fill service optimizer is trying to fix a uh, time to fill the gaps for the service resource schedule if that job is actually will be completed within one hour so it is actually design reassign job to that specific service resource suppose michael is another service resource in los angeles so it is just actually assign that specific service appointment from michael to simon into 12 pm to 1 am gap so basically it is filling the gaps in a service resource schedule okay so yeah 
just want to make sure the big difference in that case then is whereas resource scheduling opt or a second. I can't get words out. I want to talk too much today. Um, whereas resource schedule optimization, that has mm -hmm. the potential to completely change someone's schedule because obviously yeah. it's looking for the most optimal pattern. Yeah. yeah. The fill-in schedule is just trying to fill in the gaps, but it doesn't change yes. for that given person their existing appointment. So it's not. Yep. It's not exactly. quite as fundamental. Into, okay. Cool. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. So one thing I would like to mention over here, which is very important. When a service appointment is scheduled by, by fill-in schedule, the appointment schedule mode is set to automatic, okay? So if you'll go to here, if I'll just open one service appointment, if I'll open one service appointment, oh, sorry, let it open. Suppose I'll go to the service appointment or here, let me open. So suppose that if I'll go to the service appointment, if I, I was using that fill-in schedule service appointment and that service appointment, the service appointment is scheduled using the fill-in schedule. So the service appointment schedule mode is automatic. So how do you make it more automatic? The auto schedule, this checkbox should be marked as true. Okay. This is the fill-in schedule. So now, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, okay. This is fine. Uh, and one thing like I have considerations is fill in schedule only schedule appointments for the given day, which is, a, uh, is which is present in the CAN. So that is fine. And that is uh, like in the optimizations, the schedule optimizations and fill in schedule, same. And uh, yeah, so this is all about the optimizations thing. Uh, so we have completed the global optimizations, which is basically uh, the optimization job uh, which is actually executed after the business hours and nightly basis it is executed and uh, in the morning your service resource will be able to know or get to know that what is the service appointment that is getting assigned to them and if you have any particular requirement like i have explained for the priorities like in traffic is there and any service resource is very sick and he is actually very very busy in completing a service appointment then if India optimizations, resource schedule optimizations and fix in schedule, this will take place. Okay. So these all are the uh, uh, options for optimizations. I hope this is clear, Richard. So can I go to the next topic, which I have just planned to complete today? Yeah, it sounds good. Thank you. Yes, it is clear. Thank you. Okay. So I'll go to the next topic, which is uh, custom actions. Custom actions is very important. You need to know because some customizations is required for this custom actions. So let me tell you that uh, what customize custom actions is and uh, why the customization custom action is needed in field service. So let me write here this topic: custom action, custom actions. Uh, yeah. Okay. So custom action is basically. <clears throat> Suppose one field service technicians, um, uh, uh, sometimes what is happening in field service lighting, now FSL technicians, field service technicians, they contact their field service scheduler that they are uh, not uh, uh, feeling good today or an appointment is running over, like I have explained you for that uh, uh, in-day optimization uh, uh, scenario. So similar thing, suppose they are, um, this mobile worker is trying to contact to his field service scheduler, his scheduler that they are ill or an appointment is running over. Then, uh, then, uh, then field service scheduler, what is the action on, on them? So they will schedule, they will, the, this schedule, basically, this schedule changes, um, jeopardize their next appointments. So suppose I have a, I am a field service technician. I have a service appointment assigned to myself from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. So what is happening? I am ill or due to some reason, I'm running late uh, to complete this service appointment. So already a service appointment in my bucket is from 4.30 to 5.30. So already I'm running late to complete the first service appointment. So what will happen? So I'm not able to reach the uh, next, next second service appointment uh, destinations. I am not able to uh, reach, uh, I'm not able to provide the service on 4.30. So what will happen? The schedule changes, jeopardize their next appointments, putting them at risk of not being completed today or not able to 
start the job at the preferred scheduled uh, time. So then what will happen? Uh, then what will happen? So um, uh, scheduler, uh, he uh, that field service scheduler, they will set those appointment status to in jeopardy. Okay, right from the Gantt. Okay, so if it is in jeopardy status, uh, so then what will happen in field service Gantt? They will able to see uh, that which service appointment is actually jeopardy status. So here, custom actions will help. How custom action will help? Now, uh, uh, scheduler can create a custom actions and add it to that specific mobile technician's Gantt to set the appointment status. Custom actions can either call an Apex class or open a Visual Force page. So what it will do functionally? Functionally, basically, it will help to, to the field service technicians or mobile workers Gantt or dispatcher console to set the appointment status. It is in jeopardy, it is in risk, and what's the condition of, of that sub specific service appointment. Okay, so these custom actions can be run on records in several areas of, of the dispatcher console. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, 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 okay, so what do, what, how that uh, custom actions means uh, if, your, your, you have the service appointment list on individual or multiple appointments, you can place that custom actions, okay? So once you will create that custom actions, uh, uh, you, need to, you need to assign that permissions to that custom actions also to create uh, that specific service appointment uh, status, you need to provide the permissions also. So how can you do that? So first for that custom actions, Mm, you need to create three options are there to create the custom options. First is you need to write an Apex class. Okay. Then what you need to do, you need to, uh, uh, you need to assign the permissions to the class. And third option is uh, you, you need to add that custom action to the dispatcher console. Yeah. Okay. So add that custom action to the dispatcher console. So what I'll do, <clears throat> what I'll do, I'll uh, create that Apex class for you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so it is basically, it is basically that Apex class, which I will uh, write here, that Apex class code sample that will uh, basically um, uh, uh, enable that service appointment to mark that status as jeopardy. Okay. So uh, let me, I have copied that class. Okay, let me just uh, uh, do one thing. I am copy, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, copying that code from my sandbox. Let me uh, tell you that you, when you are writing this Apex class, so this is the Apex class, which is named as Toggle Service Appointment Geoparty. So this service appointment, this Apex class is basically helps you to create the custom actions. Look at this. It is implementing that FSL interface, FSL custom Gantt service appointment actions. This interface actually exposed by the FSL managed package. You need to implement that specific interface when you are creating a custom actions. Okay, okay. So I'm creating a custom action. So I'm passing the service appointment IDs, the Gantt start date, Gantt end date, and then I'm passing additional parameters. That's fine. Now what I will do, I'm just cop I'm just uh, querying from the service appointment FSL in Geopardy C. FSL in Geopardy C, it is basically a managed package field and it is appointment number, which is actually giving you uh, the service appointment list which are in a Geopardy status. Now, uh, now what I we, we will do, so we are basically service appointment list, we are doing a for loop, means we are just iterating that service appointment passing that SNS to the jeopardy and adding those service appointment numbers. So then what we are doing, we are doing return service appointment successfully processed and that specific service appointment, which is actually upsetting uh, the service appointment into the uh, system, into the database, who are in jeopardy status. So when I have created, I'll create that Apex classes, okay? So basically what is, the, what, after creating that Apex class, what you need to do, 
you need to go to the custom permissions. I will share the step by step. Let me explain in the steps first, and I will still share in a lab guide. We'll do in your uh, developer org. So if I'll go to the custom permissions, so let me open. If I'll go to the custom permissions, you will put that custom permissions uh, for that specific Apex class. You will create a new and you will put that custom permissions for that Apex class. Okay. And when you will create that Apex class and newly created permissions, you are giving that. So what you need to do um, uh, uh, after creating that permissions, uh, uh, giving that permissions, why, what you need to do? So you need to again go to the setup. The third step is you need to create. Uh, let me open that. So if I'll go to permission set, you need to create a permission set. And in that permission set, you need to create new. And what you need to do? So in this custom permissions, you need to add uh, the permissions you have created for that service appointment, and you need to add this. So if once this assignment, a uh, permission assignment has been given as a field service admin, if you go to the dispatcher console UI and you click on that custom actions, uh, if you go to the field service settings. Let me open that, then I will go to the step by step field service settings. In this field service settings, after creating the permissions, giving the permissions, creating the Apex class, you'll be able to see the dispatcher console UI. This dispatcher console UI, look at this custom actions are there. Under that custom actions, what will happen? Your Apex class, your actions will be available. You will click on that uh, custom actions and your uh, actions category, in your new actions, it is there, your actions category. So you will select again, so my new actions will be available. Okay. And then uh, 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 what the actions which I have created that will be available here. Okay. So when once I will make this available, I'll click on set. I'll be able to see uh, if I'll right click uh, any kind of service appointment in the field service dispatcher or field service uh, Gantt. So I can see an option to change its jeopardy status. One option will be there that is change jeopardy status. So as, as of now, if I'll go to the field service. If I'll go to the field service, yeah. So if I'll just right click that, look at this change, jeopardy status is not there. So if I'll do all these steps, I'll able to see change jeopardy status. Okay, that will be available. So let me do that step by step, which I have just explained. Let me write the Apex class. I'm not system admin, I'm not able to create that. I need to change the profile. Let me just log in. Let me write Apex class. Not able to see new option. Let me check field service administrator. Okay, cool. New. So now just I'm just save this class. I need to check the permission set. Most probably in the permission set, uh, it was uh, given the option. Option was given to create the Apex class. Permission was given. Copy. Haven't checked that. So just save it. I'm saving that class. Let me check. It's getting saved or not. Good. It is getting saved. Okay. It's it's saved. Now what I'll do after creating the class, I need to assign the permission. So first I have created the class. So let me write step by step. Class has been created. It is done. Now the second option is assign the permissions to the class. How to create the permissions? So what you need to do? Uh, I need to click on setup. And in the quick find box, I need to go to the permission. Here, yeah, custom permissions is there. Under the custom permissions, I need to create new. And here, I will suppose put the name toggle. Toggle service jeopardy. Suppose name is like this. Description is suppose Gant. Uh, sorry, Grant. Uh, permission. 
to view and use the toggle service jeopardy class on the can't okay so this is the description so connected up i'm not it's not required now i'm saving that custom permissions now once while I'm, I'm i'm creating the custom permissions and now i need to create the permission set uh, to add my newly created permission let me go to the permission set okay so now what i'll do click on new okay so enter suppose let me write like this late dispatcher this permission set i'm creating now what i'll do putting the api in it. Oh, license is fine not a problem so now i am saving it yeah so now go to the custom permissions okay so in the custom permissions i'll click on edit so I have created already my custom permissions, toggle service geoparty. This one, okay. So just uh, enter this toggle service geoparty, which I have created. Okay. And I have just saved it. Okay. Now, what I'll do, I have saved that one. And now, uh, now if I will go to the manage assignments, I will assign this permission set. Add assignment. Okay. So I'll add this assignment to our uh, Because I'm clicking on next, assign it. Okay, so one assignment is successfully done. So I'm clicking on done. Now I need to, uh, what I need to do um, in the dispatcher console, I need to go to the field service settings first. Uh, okay, let me open the field service settings. If I'll go to the field service settings, I need to go to the dispatcher console UI. Go to the custom actions. In the custom actions, I'll create a new actions. Suppose uh, new actions. Suppose my actions. Uh, suppose levels in devil in dispatcher console is change. Your body status okay now action type is apex class okay what is my apex class toggle service appointment jeopardy which i have just created okay so now uh everything is fine uh you can select any icon to display next to your action level okay uh required custom permissions which i have created toggle service jeopardy let me scroll down uh, toggle service jeopardy this i have created so now what I'll do, suppose I'm adding actions like um, any icon, uh, suppose this is the icon. Okay, so now what I'll do, um, I will just uh, save it. Okay, saving the changes. My action uh, that got sent. Here you are able to see delete actions. You can delete also the actions which you have created if you will not uh, required. So now if I go to the field service, just yeah, refresh this page. Yeah, 
So if you'll right click that, look at this change geopardy status is there. So you can able to uh, make this service appointment geopardy status, which is actually service appointment successful process. Oh, so I didn't see that. Can you show me that again, please? If you right click. Yeah. Look at this. It is getting geopardy. Change geopardy ah, status. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, now if I click on that, so look at this, this guy, this service appointment is a geopardy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So this is a very good uh, feature. You can use like this kind of scenario when it will happen, like one specific service. And this is a very frequent scenario. Like one service appointment is very occupied or he's um, actually running late to complete the assigned service appointment and next service appointment is running late to reach the destination. So using the custom actions, you can make the service appointment jeopardy.